This big bag job, and I just jumped off the porch with dirty glove bastard. Might push button stop. I'm two gates full tick tock. I'm getting blown ghost with drop. Got new beam miss for the ops. All right, so we got big bag job jumping off the porch with us today, man. How you feeling, bro? Man, hey, I'm blessed. I'm good. You hear me? You know, I came all the way here from so called, you know, DMV, but I'm from Merlin. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's what's good, man. Nah, I appreciate you coming by today, too, man. Hey, I appreciate you. Yeah. yeah. No problem, man. Go ahead and introduce everyone that's sitting behind you today, too, man. Yeah, look, man, this the game. This this PC shit, man. You know what I'm saying? I got a game. Hey, hot, this one, the hottest artist right here. That's Lil G. He's a genius, a producer. You know what I'm saying? Benzo. Just though. Cruddy. Cruddy. Okay. You know. That's what's good, I got to show my people love, man. Nah, definitely. It's my family, so right or wrong, stick behind me. I feel that. Yeah. So go ahead and break down what PC is, man. Paper chasing every day. Mm. You know what I'm saying? When you wake up every day, you should have something to accomplish. You know what I'm saying? May the task be large, big or small, do well, not at all. You know? Yeah. Shit like that, you know. Paper That's chasing every day. Okay. Yeah. So when did you launch the brand? When did you launch when launched the label, man? So I launched the label and the brand uh about four years ago, four or five years ago. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It took a little time. Yeah, we're rolling now. Yeah. What was your vision when you first started the day, man? What did what, you expect? I didn't have no idea what to expect, man. <laughs> I just know, you know, go hard or go home, you know what I'm saying? So I got locked up, came out, started. I'm like, God damn, I got some talent. I'm like, damn, <laughs> you got talent, you feel what I'm saying? And uh, it's up there now. Mm. Yeah. You know? So everyone that's up here with you, is this some people you grew up with? Is this people you met through the music? Like, uh, what's uh, the connection? It's definitely uh, it's my cousin back there, you hear me? Okay. It's definitely a family, family thing, you hear me? That's how we do it. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah. So what's some of your goals for the label? What are you guys trying to accomplish in the game, man? So what we're trying to accomplish, my next move is to open up the doors for everybody, you get what I'm saying? And the same for each, each one of them, you know, if they can open up the door for me, let's do it, you hear me? You know, I'm just trying to have a big bag way. Yeah, you hear me? ain't you know. nothing wrong with that, man. That's it. All right, so you mentioned from Maryland, so where yeah. out of Maryland you from? I'm from Lando, I'm from Palm Park. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's like, shit, seven, eight minutes from Washington, D.C. Hmm. So, you know what I'm saying, it was PG County, so the shit is weird, like, it's like it's damn near DC. Yeah. But you know, the typical person come out here and land and they wanna, oh, I'm from DC, I'm from DC. Nah, we Merlin. <laughs> I'm born in DC though. Okay. Yeah. Uh, why do you feel like people don't want to represent Maryland then? I don't know. Shit is crazy to me. Hmm. And then the, and the crazy part, when you hear Merlin, the first thing you, you hear is about Baltimore. Yeah. I'm and that's Baltimore. way on the other I'm, side. Yeah, right? yeah, it's way on the other side. We right there, basically DC, but we PG County. Yeah. So I want to be known like we from Merlin, you know what I'm saying? And you know, roots go heavy in DC, you know, you know. But Baltimore is nowhere near where we at. We basically, it's nowhere near. It's like yeah. night and day, mm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We fuck with them though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we all together. We all separate nothing. Yeah, we all together. It's all music out there. It ain't yeah. no separation. We all one unit. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, other than that though, but you know, the typical PG dude, PG, we out DC heaven. Yeah. DC, PG, we like that, you know what I'm saying? But gotta let it be known. I got you. So how do you feel about the term DMV, man? Cause I hear, you know, a lot of people kinda, most of the people don't fuck with the term that's from up there, man. Yeah, so the typical DC, typical DC nigga, they, they don't fuck with that or with a DMV. DC don't, they don't like that shit at all, especially Southeast, yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Southeast, you know what I'm saying? I don't own a, uh, Studio out Southeast, Clubhouse Studio. What's up, Fats? Jimmy, <laughs> cousin Jim, MVP. MVP. Oh. But uh, yeah, they don't like that shit. But we all we all together because we're a tri merge state. Yeah. DC, Maryland, Virginia, like it's merged all in. But you know, definitely don't don't, don't say I'm from Virginia. We get <laughs> we get mad. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Nobody, we get mad, you know what I'm saying? But we, we, we cool though, we from Maryland, all of us from Maryland, and uh, Roots going DC, you know what I'm saying? 
Yeah, yeah, that's the only thing I can say about it, yeah. Yeah, because it's always like a debate, like even what parts of Virginia are considered the DMV, man. Yeah. Damn, you good. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, I get people from here all the time. It's like Richmond's like, nah, we ain't the DMV. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We the South damn near. Yeah, yeah. Richmond is not the DMV. You know, when you talking DMV, you talking about like Alexandria and all the 10, shit close like that. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, you, you absolutely on it, man. And uh. I don't know, man. We, I guess we, we the DMV, but we from Merlin, though. Yeah. Hey. So you mentioned the studio, man. Clubhouse Studios. Yeah, Clubhouse Studios, man. Hey, I'm up here. I'm going to represent that shit. That's a brand. Yeah, come to, hey, if you ever in D.C., need a session, need a videographer, tap in Clubhouse Studios, 2412 Minnesota Avenue. Gang. <laughs> so how long has the studio been open now? Two years now, man. Okay. We, we, we doing good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got. And you opened during the pandemic. I went during the pandemic. <laughs> the <middle laughs> That's the wild, pandemic. right there. You, hey, in the middle. you know the crazy shit? Like, how the hell did you open the middle of the pandemic? I'm not gonna say shit about, but we good. Though. <laughs> I'm telling you, hey, we good. So, what separates Clubhouse from like all the other studios up there in DC, then? Well, we just started really getting our shit together. You know what I'm saying? It, I could be honest with you. We all some street niggas, trap niggas, and we wasn't really being focused, now we focused. So, you know, um, when you come to our studio, it's like a home. It's like a home, we, we family. We don't, we're not with none of that nonsense and none of that, you'll get kicked out. Yeah. Well, it's all good vibes. Yeah. You should yeah, come, you see, out. it really say good vibes only on, on, <laughs> on, the, on the wall. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta manifest that shit too. You gotta too, manifest man. it. You, you know how these rappers are, they be coming in there all fucked up. Yeah, and, yeah. We've seen some shit. <laughs> we, yeah, man, I've seen some shit. I'm talking about Pop Perk 30 died right there. But we ain't, we ain't, we, that's my man. <laughs> died right there. Scared the shit out of you. Him. Yeah, Lord. He came you know back. what I'm saying? He came back. Yeah. He came back, hopefully, right? Yeah. So having a having studio and having it up and running, and you know, everybody want to be an artist. So it's very lucrative. So anybody seeing this, you're younger, tap in. You don't always have to be a star rapping. You can be a star behind the scene. You can yeah. be a manager, producer. And you know what I'm saying? Whatever you want to do, look what they doing. He kidding. Paid out this motherfucker. Dirty glove bastard. Nah, for real. Nah, uh, for real. All right, so let's take it back before the music. So, like, what were you into as a kid growing up there in Maryland, man? Man, hey, shit. Real loud. When I was young, I, I didn't do too much of shit. I jumped off the porch, probably like a cool 14, you know what I'm saying, and see my old cousin hustle. You know what I'm saying? See my uncle hustle, hustle. And um, I was like, damn, I'm gonna give me some money. So I jumped right off the porch like this, went out there, made shit shape, did some dumb things and this and that, but uh, it made me the hustle I am today. Yeah. You know what I mean? It made me the fucking superstar, you know what I mean? Hmm. Shit, to me, Yeah. you feel me? You mentioned having to go sit down, so what yeah. was the biggest lesson you learned by having to go through that whole experience? Oh man. Watch who you call your friends. Watch who you call your friends, man. Because all that shit, you cool as shit, but when your shit get in a crunchy situation, oh, shit flake off, you hear me? You know, but hey, it's a blessing, man. I'm trying to tell you, learn a lot of valuable lessons off of that. You know, man, we rocking. Learn a lot, no, no bond, you hear me? Then no one come home. But we rocking and rolling, man. Fuck that. Yeah. I feel that. Yeah. So were you rapping before you went in? No, not at all. Not at all? Not at all. Just trapping. Hmm. Fucking them up. Trapping. You hear me? But yeah. Nah. Start rapping after. Were you rapping inside at all? Or? Nah. Nothing. <laughs> None of that shit. Uh, my, my, my little cousin came on here. Uh, DMV Franco. Oh, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Franco. Yeah. Shout out to Franco. He was the one that started making me rap. Hmm. Yeah, my cousin. He was like, nah, keep going, keep going. The next thing you know, I kept going. Started getting shows, started getting paid. You know what I'm saying? You know I would, you know, little fame shit, you know what come with it. Haters, groupies. It's kind of just like the streets, you it's know? It's just like the streets. Yep. Gotta watch surroundings. But yeah, shout out to Cuz, yep. you know? So were, you, were your boys, were your family, were they surprised when you pop up like, hey man, check out my song, man, I'm rapping now. <laughs> Shit, they definitely surprised, man. 
they already know. If it ain't about some money, I ain't with it. You know, and this shit, real live. If you don't realize with this rap shit, I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, if you're not going to invest in your craft, you need to stop now. All that shit you trying to hope somebody sign you and this and that. When you already signed, you already got, you probably worth like 100,000 or a couple hundreds already. They don't want you if you're not popping. So if you out here thinking that you about to do some phenomenal shit because you the best rapper, you could be some fucking dirt and still make it because there's a bag behind you. So, don't, oh, I rap bad than him. You don't got no fucking money. You better go get some money and invest in yourself. Yeah, real shit, man. Hey. Yeah, well, okay. If you have all the talent and no one's hearing it, well, what, what the good fuck is, is gonna it? Help? What's going to help? It's, it's not going to help none at all. It's going to look goofy. You can come around, oh, man, he's talented. He's not doing You know why? He's a fucking bum. He don't want to go, go get you a job, go do what you got to do, and invest in yourself. Because if I was going to sign you, if you can't show me you can make some money, I'm not signing you. It's paper chasing every day. You got to go. You feel like artists are scared to invest in themselves? Oh, they're terrified. It's a, it's, a, it's a tricky situation. You better make sure you can invest in yourself and still have a craft that you can get some money. You feel me? It's a scary fucking thing. Imagine putting 100000 into your shit and it do nothing. But you take But it should do something. Yeah. <laughs> you put 100000 in your oh, shit, it's going to do something. So don't even worry about it. We got, we got Instagram, social media, all that shit. You put 100K up, I promise you you're going to make it. I promise you. Yeah, I think where a lot of artists get discouraged is they expect that shit to come right back. Nah, uh -uh. So like, say you pay 10000 for a feature in the yeah. video, they expect to recoup that plus more right away. No. Nah. Not knowing that, that's just the first step. That's the first step. Now you got to keep going. You got to be now, consistent. With now you got to pay for marketing. Yep. Then you got to pay for promoting. And if you're smart, you better hop your ass right on this porch. I've seen a lot of people get signed. Fuck around with y'all. I swear to God, I, 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 why I'm here. <laughs> Let's go. You hear me. You hear me. Why I'm here. Yeah. So yeah. that first time you hit the booth, was it easy for you? Were you comfortable? Were you like a natural? Or was this like, this was a learning experience for you? You know, the first time I hit the booth with DMV Franco, shit. I fucked that shit up. Oh, shit, I didn't know how to write or nothing. And now I'm, you hear me? I, I could write that shit. Now I don't have to write no more. I got that shit down pat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So how would you classify your music? Man, look, so it's two sides of me, right? I, I got my trap music, and then it's Jop Levert. Yeah, you, you probably want to know what Jop Levert is, man. Nah, break it down. Yeah, I'm going to break this shit now. I got my little trap on B. It's for the ladies. Hmm. You got to be, you got to do all that. You got to stay in all lanes. It's for the ladies. And then I got my spinner block. It's for the game. I think that's smart because the, them female supporters oh. are the ones that going to buy tickets to your show. Yeah, they the mean. ones that going to be supporting you all the way through. Absolutely. Man. Absolutely. They, they going to buy tickets. They going to support you like no other. Because the guys, shit, they like whatever the female like. Yeah, you feel me? Be smart about it. The guy's going to follow the females. If she fucking with it, oh, he's going to tap in. I'm, okay. You know what I'm saying? That's typical guys, you know what I'm saying? We guys, so we see something nice, we're going to like what they like. That's it. Real shit, man. Yeah. So what's been one of the biggest mistakes you made as a new artist when you first got in the game? The biggest mistake... I learned by being a new artist. I learned a lot of mistakes. One of the biggest ones is to watch who the fuck you have managing you. You hear me? I, I, thought, I, I let my man manage me, man. He was back doing me with the money. Uh, it was all type of wild shit. He's supposed to take 10, 15. This motherfucker's trying to take half. Shit. You know what I'm saying? So that's the biggest mistake I ever learned in my life. Watch who the fuck you call your manager. You know, and I try to do it pro bono with no paperwork, nothing rock and roll. This club would pay me this and that. Next thing you notice, he'd give me this. And I'm so, I'm so, I'm such a boss and a boss build leaders, right? I don't have no followers around. So the bosses of clubs are, are, are trying to contact me. 
Yeah, man, we wanna woo woo. Oh, go go to the manager. You sure? Like, why you say that? You know how much I paid you last time? No. Nah. So he discussed the price. Oh shit, I only got half. Oh shit. You know what I'm saying? So watch who the fuck is manage you and watch who's around you. Because for a little bit of fame, <laughs> everybody want a name. You hear me? Real so shit. the circle around you, that shit could be all a mirage. That's what I learned. Nah, that's wise right there. Yeah, At least yeah. you learned it early in the game, you know what I'm early. saying? Yeah. Now where you're getting these huge bags yeah. and these skits still taking like 50% off, that, that'd be a bitch right yeah. there. Yeah, and they still try. You already know. <laughs> if you don't know nothing and, and, and you booming, yeah, you looking at this money crazy as shit, but it's really not adding up. So yes, watch sir. out. Yeah. Read them contracts. Get you a lawyer. Definitely, yeah. man. Lawyer save your ass every every, every time, you man. Better, you better spend that money, get you one. Yep, it's definitely worth it, man. Have you out yeah. here looking crazy? <laughs> like shit. So, what's your thoughts on the uh, the music scene in the DMV right now? <sighs> the music scene on the DMV. We could be a big name. I mean, we DC, Maryland, Virginia. We could be fucking everything up, but. Going in, it's like crabs in a bucket. One make it to the top, the other nigga pull you down. One make it to the top, the other one pull you down, you hear me? So it's hard for the DMV to pop. It's, it's extremely hard. But we had so much talent, yeah, R&P Gunu, yeah. you feel me? He got killed by his own hood. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's what I'm saying. Watch who around you. But uh, the scene, it's a lot of talent. And if you're in the DMV, you will hear a lot of different music. We got our own sound, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. But uh, it don't go nowhere. It just be stuck right there, mm -hmm. you know? And what yeah. you gotta realize too, like what Atlanta is starting to realize, I don't actually have to listen to your music to support you. Like we got rock stars in DC. It's people that listen to make punk music. I'll post and share their music. I might not listen to rock music, but I'm gonna support you because we all the same community. We all gonna work together if we all support each other. Yeah, that's real, yeah. And unfortunately, we hear about a lot of rap beef up there. In oh, the oh, it's it's a lot of. Now we got we got that DC drill, DMV drill, Merlin drill, and it's a lot. I mean, they fucking each other up. It's 100 percent rap uh, beef fuel, fuel. Every uh, song is literally just rap beef. Mm -hmm. Nigga go spin a block. And two minutes later, a song is dropped about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so that's what the fuck going on. Is that home. good for the scene or is that bad yeah, for the I mean, scene? It, it's, I mean, they snitching on themselves. They, they, in the studio, you just killed him, her, because they don't got no aim. You just killed him, her, the baby, all, the whole block. And then as he knows, you on your, you on your shit really rapping about what you just did right there. And you know, uh, Merlin just passed the law. Uh, shit this year that they can take your music and use it against you oh wow so yeah. now you're trying to appeal it you know you just just be careful you know what i'm saying yeah be smart yeah and unfortunately the fans eat that shit up oh, so they, they can't it. get enough there's no gas up these artists too. oh yeah i mean it's entertainment they don't realize it's real life yeah it's entertainment all the shit entertainment yeah. so you know i mean just think look how the, the baby got in the game you know what i'm saying he he started popping his shit he was he always been talented but look, look, bam, news article here, news article. Fans love that shit, they like, oh yeah. They want to see you be ignorant, yeah. you hear me? They yeah. want to see you turn the fuck up. Which is sad because usually someone's got to lose a life in, during one no. of those instances. Somebody you know? always lose a life, yeah. that, always, yeah. you know? Uh, we see you be coming down here to Atlanta a lot, man. A so lot. What do you like about the vibes here in Atlanta compared to back at home? Man, this, this is my second home, this is my second city. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, the vibes are more relaxed. Uh, man, we love it here. I love it here. I'm always here. I'm here a lot. Yeah. You know, here a lot. Uh, shit. About to move here uh, about four months. Okay. Yeah, about to move in four. I love it so much, I'm moving here completely. You know, it's, it's a way better positive energy out here. Yeah. You know, you don't have to worry about so much hate. Yeah, especially if you're chasing after the music, man. This is definitely the place to be. Man, this is the black Hollywood. This is the black Hollywood. Anything entertainment-wise or 
anything that you're trying to push. You don't even have to be entertainment. Uh, shit, I'm coming out here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna open up a car rental. Yeah. Uh, black luxury rentals. Okay. You get on suburban oh, you towel. Make a killing here. Yeah. With that make shit, a though. fucking killing. Like it's that you that go hand in hand with entertainment. People want to ride black SUVs, Sprinters, shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So why not tap in? <laughs> you can fuck around, become a millionaire off just renting out trucks here. Mm-hmm. Back home, oh they hate no, yo, he think he this, so oh, yeah. We out here. Yeah, Atlanta likes to support like people that come into the city with ideas, man. You know the crazy part? I have family out here. If you're not out here, they'll support you harder than what the fuck they support somebody from here. I love it. I'm coming here. Show me love. <laughs> Show me love now. Fuck it. Nah, for real. I'm telling you. Yeah. So what's the single you pushing right now, Joe? Okay, right now I got lingo. Okay. We pushing lingo. And I just record. Uh, this song called 24-7. That's what we're going to be pushing real soon. And uh, drop my mixtape, uh, The Book of Joppy Chapter 2, Okay. next month. Hmm. But we about to push the shit out this 24-7. So yeah. what can you tell us about 24-7? What's Man, the inspiration my, going that into that motherfucker. One? I'm making money around fucking clock. I don't leave the house off. Like, all right. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm send it to you, you hear me? <laughs> so shout out to He's a Genius, man. He put that shit together. Okay. You hear me? So, you got a video go already shot or? No, no, no. I don't have a video shot for it. I'll probably shoot the video tonight. Okay. Or something like that. I dig that. You know, but Lingo already shot. Numbers doing good. Mm-hmm. Uh, the downloads, all that on Spotify, or all that shit. Apple Music's doing great. YouTube doing great on there. So, Lingo's cool. But I'm tired of it now. <laughs> uh, you own today. Uh, a lot of artists, they even say this. Like, by the time they actually drop the song, man, that shit old to them. It's, man. it's extremely old. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. But it's doing good. Mm-hmm. But I'm tired of it now. So, 24 <laughs> 7, about to reload probably in a week or two. Yeah. And we're going to push the shit out of it. Four months, okay. quarter. Remember, when you push your shit, it's four quarters in a year. Push move. that motherfucker. Yeah, for sure. Push it four months. Put your foot in it. You let me step on that shit. You hear me? That's it. That Super Gremlin remix going up too, man. That Super Gremlin, that shit did numbers. I wish I would have dropped it a minute ago. Yeah. I dropped it late and the shit was doing numbers. Fast and shot it. Shout out to him. So what should we expect on this new project, man? Man, I'm going to give you a combination. I'm going to give you Big Bag Jock. And drop the vert all on it. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking it up. The first shit I ever did, it was just all trap. Man, I'm like, fuck that. I'm about to put put the ladies in this one too. Yeah. Any features gonna be on it? Hmm. I'm thinking about putting Big Yava on it. Okay. You know what? Yeah, he was here before. What? Yeah, Yava. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Yava. Yeah, yeah, I'm thinking about putting him on there. Huh? He be snapping. He be snapping like a motherfucker. He, got the bars, he be snapping. So I'm thinking about putting him on there. And uh I'm about to lock in with Duke Deuce. Okay. Yeah. That'd be big right there. Yeah, yeah, that'd you be wanna big. hit some dance moves, bro? I'm gonna hit some dance moves. I'm gonna try to outdance his <laughs> big ass. <in> that motherfucker. <laughs> I'm gonna try to do that motherfucker. Yeah. So, what about producer wise? We know. Uh I'm gonna tap in. I don't really know who I'm gonna use. I, I'm, I mean, I, that's, that's Brody right there, but we're gonna tap in with some other producers for sure. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna ask you some good ones. Okay. Yeah. We'll go like that. For sure, man. I want something from out here. Okay. Yeah. So, what's some of your goals for the rest of 2022? What are you trying to accomplish here? More LLCs. <laughs> More business. Yeah. You know, try to run this shit up. I'm trying to paper chase every day, you know what I'm saying? So you want to put structure to the shit, so business, LLCs, banging ass credit scores. Fuck with me, I know credit, credit genes. Keep them credit cards under 30%, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I gave you deep, I know CPAs. We ain't gonna, we'll talk a little bit about it if you want to though, you know? Yeah. Yeah, they say most millionaires have yeah. like seven streams of income, man. You have to have it. You have to. And uh, when you get smart and educated, you don't have to actually use your money. 
Go ahead and get that credit score good. Mm-hmm. The bank can give you anything you want. Yep. Especially if you can show the assets too. That's it. You don't even have to touch your shit. Man, truths booming right yeah. now. You hear me? <laughs> shit booming. <laughs> All type of ways. I got proof for 100K. I'm not, I'm not coming out of my pocket for none of this nah. shit. Shit. See, they, you come down here and build a studio. I'm building Off that. Off of their money. Fuck, I'm building that. I, hey, I want y'all to be partners. I'm trying <laughs> to be part of the Dirty Glove Bassin fam. You hear me? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, man. I got to tap it where I can. Yep. Hey. What has being a father taught you about life? Oh, man. Shit. <laughs> it woke me the fuck up. Yeah. Slowed me the fuck down. Yeah, shit. You know? I do everything for my kids. You hear me? My little broke best friends. <laughs> <laughs> I love them. You hear me? Them my little broke best friends. We can ride all day long. I can have no broke grown man best friend now, but my little broke best friends, we go everywhere. We do everything. Shit, he just called me early, like, yeah, dad, you about to get on a little uh, yeah, interview? You about to sit on the porch? I said, yeah. Man, he lose his mind right now. He see me <laughs> on this motherfucker. I swear. Yeah. That's hard, man. Yeah. What's some advice you would share to the youth, to the, to the new generation that's coming out right now? Don't be a father. Don't be a father. Don't be geeked up to do what the next man doing. That shit could fuck your life up. And it's for that, that's how it's fucking up the DMV streets. Yeah. You, you, you want to be a father. You know goddamn well you don't got the heart to do none of this shit. You feel me? Go get some money. Go get you a job. The streets ain't for everybody. Stay on the sidewalk. Exactly. Be the cool nigga. <laughs> Stay your ass on the sidewalk, bro. Stop getting it. Stop coming to the streets, fucking the streets. Stay your ass on the sidewalk and live life good. You know? So ain't nothing wrong with working a regular job. It's man. not. People think that shit lame or something. You know what's lame? When your ass at home and you broke. Your ass at home and you broke and you don't want to do nothing. Man, it couldn't be me. I, it couldn't be me. If, if I had to, Shit, I'm gonna go get me a job. Now, I, I don't have a nine to five. If I had to, I'm gonna do anything. No, definitely. Make sure I take it, me and mine. Yeah. yeah. Definitely better than sitting inside in prison, oh, you know what I'm saying? Away from your family, better. away from your peoples, man. Definitely better. Let, let me tell you something. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm I'm give y'all, I'm gonna drop a little down, give y'all, give, give, give y'all a gem real quick, right? In life, Money comes and goes. But one thing that you can't get back is time. No, man. man, I could blow out and probably blew. And it's millions. I, I, I blew some shit, you hear me? But when I wake up, I know I go, I'm about to go get that shit again. So watch how you spend your time. I'm trying to get that shit to y'all for free. I'm giving y'all shit for free. No, that's real I shit. should be charging y'all <laughs> one-on-one. Put it in a book. I'm, you hear me? Shit, I should be charging for them. For sure. All right, Jeff, you got any shout outs you'd like to give before we wrap it up here, bro? Man, look. Shout out to the gang. That's all I got to say. Yeah. Ain't nothing else to talk about. Shout out to the gang. You know what I'm saying? The good man. The good man. You know what I'm saying? And we rocking and rolling. That's all it is. Merch available online. You got a website set up or hit the DM or? Yeah, you got to hit the DM right now. We, we doing a website. I had one. I don't want to be staying focused on it. But uh, I'm going to get somebody to stay focused on that shit. Might push button stop. I'm too gangs full TikTok. I'm getting blown ghost with drop. Got new beam is for the.